Once a year, the Department of Agriculture's research centre at Ruakora near Hamilton plays host to farmers from all over the country. They come, 6,000 of them this year, to learn of developments in current animal and plant research, research which helps them farm more efficiently. For today, farming's a science, and every farmer at least part scientist. This annual conference keeps him up to date with what the full-time scientists are doing. A great deal of research done at the centre is long-range, much of it backed by similar projects at other centres and the agricultural universities. There's continuous work in animal improvement. Since 1965, Ruakura's scientists and farmers working with them have been seeking the best breed of dairy cattle from which to produce beef. Trial results point to Frisians. Here, researchers are finding out what happens to food eaten by cows, how much goes to make milk, how much is waste, and how much goes to meat. During tests, the animals breathe purified air from this balloon. Ruakura is well situated. Within 50 miles, five million sheep and a million dairy cattle graze all year round on the lush Waikato grass. At the centre, plants and grasses are tested in different soils so that farmers can know which plants will grow best and where. The milking sheds and stockyards of the future will be automated. Animals will be trained to find their way about them. But how much and how fast can animals learn? To find out, cats, dogs and, more important, pigs, sheep and cows are put through a maze. Once an animal gets used to a pattern, it's changed, and records made of how long the animal takes to learn a new route. Cows can see fences in the maze from 24 feet, and sheep from 12. The short-sighted pig doesn't see the fence until it's only six feet away, yet a pig holds the Ruakura record, through in seven seconds flat, after getting a fright. This cow takes 60 seconds, a good time. Animal behaviour is under observation. In this case, the feeding and sleeping patterns of cattle. This clock tied around the cow's neck records the animal's movements. One habit already discovered, cows like to take a snack at midnight for about an hour. The two days of conference are followed by a field day on which farmers study the visual evidence of Ruakura's research work, from soil testing and fertilizer trials to freeze branding techniques. Better stockyards are on show. These stockyards demonstrate how easy it is to manage all types of animals with the right equipment. Farmers examine and test the new yards, including this gate, designed to hold cows more steadily. This year, farmers stay in Hamilton after Ruakura's conference for the first National Farm Machinery Field Days. On display to 35,000 visitors is $3 million worth of agricultural equipment, most of it made in New Zealand, most of it offering new features that will speed up work on the farm. Simple and very safe tractor frames are at last being widely used, and no one seeing them in action can doubt their value. Demonstrations spread over 200 acres, the National Field Days bring closer the age of the push-button paddock. Farming is sophisticated these days, and not only in research and animal husbandry. Motorbikes, able to be ridden on nearly every type of ground, cut the time for mustering in half, and locally made vehicles are designed to suit the land they'll be driven on, both here and overseas.
top dressing planes are so familiar they're hardly noticed anymore. Yet they're changing all the time as prototypes are tested and aircraft of sometimes radical design take to the air. The object of improvements, a bigger payload and a better performance. With this particular model, the typically inventive New Zealander seems to have decided to dispense with the aircraft and just use the hopper. Shearing has its golden shears, ploughing its silver plough, and now fencing enters the field with a national competition. Competitors must build a fence 88 yards long and with seven strands of wire. Quality of workmanship counts as well as speed. New Zealand farmers have about $400 million invested in fencing. It's hoped this competition will become an annual event, a means of showing new techniques that will keep down costs. The national field days are so successful, it's hoped they will become a permanent feature of the New Zealand agricultural scene. Coupled with the regular Ruakura conference, they may make an annual event of great value to not only farmers, but all New Zealanders.